Good morning, everyone. Today is um, Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. This is my ham soup. It's my mother's ham soup. Um, I learned it many years ago. My mother would give me a lecture on how she made it. And um, to make sure I got it right, um, she would always, you know, mother hand me. So anyway, I just washed my hands. I'm going to turn on my pot. And what I'm going to do is show you how to make it. And then when it's done, I'll, I'll do another video. So remember the ham that I cut yesterday. I'm putting it right in here. What a perfect size. Don't be afraid to use your hands. You're gonna add a whole can of tomatoes. You could use hunts, any kind you want, but the juice and all. Take your hands, cause they're clean, and just squish those tomatoes down. Make sure you get them real good to squish them down. Kinda like that. They'll, they'll cook and stew into the water. It'll be beautiful. So if you get a hard knot on the tomato sometimes, just throw it away. You'll splash here and there. It's all right. You can clean it up when you're done. You need enough water to cover the meat. So I'm going to let this boil for about an hour. And then I will um, come back. I'll take the ham out and I'll get two forks and, and tear that meat off. Don't be afraid to use your hands. Um, makes life so much easier when you're squishing stuff. So I got all my tomatoes squished up. And I'm gonna add my ingredients. It's gonna get real full, so. If you have not enough water, add more. Add your, your beans. You can use uh, any bean you want. I use this one today, the contalini beans, the mealy beans. You need three cans. And if you have too much water, it's okay to take it out at this point. If you don't have enough, add more. This will feed probably about, I don't know, maybe six six, seven people. If there's only two or three of you, um, it won't be much anyway. I'm getting a new spoon. So I have my fresh, um, I want to take some water out of this actually. So it's not too late to take it out and just dump it. That should be good. So remember I spoke about my fresh parsley yesterday. So when I when I take it off this take it off and, and pluck it, I just get the stems and stuff. You can you could chop it up down more if you'd like. Remember I told you I froze it. So just take two seconds. Careful putting your fingers on those knives. Anyway, so that's my fresh parsley. Remember I told you about my rosemary. I could take it out at the end. I got some scallions. I like scallions better than the onions in this dish. So I used about a handful. Two stalks of celery. My bay leaves, um, my basil leaves that I had thawed out this morning. And you can pop them in whole. You don't even have to cut them. This is my corn that I had frozen. You can st still see it's got frost on it. So I cut and clean them and prep them in advance. So you're gonna use two carrots. You're gonna use um, a half a bag of frozen corn. If you have corn on the cob, you wanna shuck and put it in there, that's fine too. So I'm getting full, so. Now this is a little secret. I love this. I, I bet you a lot of women do know about this. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I buy this at Walmart or any food store. It's above the soup aisle, but it's roasted chicken base. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that. They have all different brands and this one's vegetable base. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's ridiculous. 
So you only need, um, if I have a big pot like this, I wanna use one heaping of a tablespoon. If I have um, half this pot, I'll only use maybe a half, a, a, like a teaspoon. But this is really, really good for any soups, any anything, it's just amazing. So my mom said a little lemon and pepper, so I'm gonna put a little lemon and pepper in there. Just, just a little pinch. And then the red pepper, I use about a teaspoon. You can add as much pepper as you want. It gives it a little kick, but be easy. Just use a little bit, because it's got a kick to it. So, remember I told you about the chicken that I'm gonna put in. I have about, that's probably about a tablespoon. Don't be afraid to use the chicken stock. It's so amazing. And when you're done and it, you think you got it all, put a little warm water in there, mix it around and use every bit of it. It's like $4.99 at Walmart. It's, it's really good. I use it in everything. Now you could use some um, garlic. Be careful doing this. You could use fresh garlic and um, chop it up really good. Um, I love garlic. It's my, one of my favorites. But anyway, um, you know, it, it shows in the summertime when you, when you expire. Perspire. There you go. All right. So anyway, just get that out of the way. Chop up your garlic. Oh, it smells, it smells so good. I love garlic. It's truly wonderful. It goes in everything I make. And you can't beat fresh. So just give it a little dicing up here and you want to make it a little small. You don't want people to bite into a big chunk of garlic because that's not fun. But some people like that. Anyway, so I have everything in here. I'm going to give it a little spin so you can see what's in there. I've got my garden herbs. I've got my um, fresh vegetables that I cut other than my corn. The corn I bought frozen. And everything else is in there. So I'm going to come back and take a little more juice out of here because it's going to boil. And I'm going to set it aside so I can have it for later in case I need to add more, more juice. So I'm going to set this aside. And then I'll use that later. So again, once this boils for an hour, I'll come back and take my ham and I'll do another video. I'll be back, thank you.